Considering the chaos of what's going on in the world today, I thought it would be beneficial for us all to get back to the basics of your immune system. Did you know that each of you have your own army reserve? your own military that was internally formed for the sole purpose of defending you from outside forces that may potentially form as a threat to the composition of your body. This military is called your immune system. The word immune etymologically means to be free of or exempt from, and the word system means arrangement. Your immune system is dedicated to freeing you from the inhospitable arrangement that an infection may cause your body. It consists of two divisions. We have the innate immune system, and we have the adaptive immune system. These two groups of soldiers have different duties, but the same purpose. And that sole purpose is to protect you from the path of genes. I mean, pathogens. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. I'm fearless. Welcome to Back to the Basics, where you learn facts, hope you embrace it. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. Watch, like, share, bring in awareness. The first line of defense against any pathogen is the innate or the nonspecific immune system. Your innate immune system consists of physical, chemical, and cellular defenses against invading pathogens, be it bacterial or viral. Message. The main purpose of your innate immune system is to immediately prevent the spread of foreign pathogens throughout your body. The reason it is called nonspecific is because it does not depend on the presence of any specific antigen for it to respond. So whatever type of pathogen enters your body, it will attack it. Your innate immune system has extensions of itself that works with it, not to only prevent passage of pathogens into your body, but to also create an inhospitable environment in your body to prevent the growth and mutation of different types of pathogens. Several examples of your innate immune system are your skin, your hair, a cough, <laughs> cover your mouth. I'm sorry, I forgot my muzzle. I mean mask. Mucous membrane, phagocytes, and granulocytes. Each of these do specific things to prevent pathogens that may potentially invade your body. Take your skin for instance. It consists of several layers that prevents the physical movement of pathogens into your body. Our skin contains glands that secretes fatty acids and when we create a layer of fatty acid on our skin, this creates an inhospitable environment on which most bacteria cannot live and grow on. In your mouth, your body produces a special type of enzyme known as lysosome, which is also produced by our eyes. What the lysosome does is it breaks down the cell walls of bacteria and eventually kills it. The air passageways in your body has specialized type of cells called goblet cells that secrete a slimy material we call the mucous membrane. All your air passageways are aligned with it. When we breathe in air that may be contaminated with pathogens, they are ultimately trapped inside that mucus. Inside your air passageways, you also have hair-like projection called cilia that are continually moving in a wave-like fashion. What they do is move the pathogen that are trapped in the mucus up to our pharynx which allows us to spit out the mucus or swallow it. If you swallow, it eventually ends up in your stomach. Inside your stomach, you have parietal cells that secretes hydrochloric acid, which creates a very highly acidic environment where pathogens cannot survive in, preventing them from entering your tissue and blood. If the pathogen is a bacteria or a virus, message, or other toxins that can injure your tissue giving way to an entrance into your body, reaching the cells. What happens is your innate immune system responds by initiating a process known as inflammation. Mass cells store inflammatory mediators in the deep layers of connective tissue, which release histamine as well as other molecules into the bloodstream. This makes the blood vessels expand and increases the blood flow to the infected area and the surrounding skin become itchy and swells, which is called edema. This blood flow brings specialized immune cells that are responsible for killing off the pathogens. It also brings the nutrients to the affected area because the cells in that tissue will be working harder. This process triggers specialized white blood cell gangsters, such as natural killer cell. These boys don't play macrophages, dendritic cells, neutrophils, eosinophils, and basophils to engage for battle. 
So as you can see, once the anatomical physical barriers are breached, your body's immune alarm goes off, setting off a chain reaction of cellular activities in your immune system. Now, that was just your innate immune system, but you also have a second line of defense against invading pathogens, which is called your adaptive immune system. Adaptive immunity is also called acquired immunity or specific immunity, and it's only found in vertebrates. Now, it's called adaptive for a reason. Your adaptive immune system is specific to pathogens presented. What this means is, once activated against a specific type of antigen, the immunity remains throughout your life. However, without the information relayed from the innate immune system, the adaptive response will not mobilize. Our adaptive immunity uses lymphocytes called T cells and B cells. These cells take longer to develop because their behavior evolved from learning experiences, and so they live longer than your innate cells. These adaptive immune cells' key feature is memory, for they remember foreign invaders like a virus. Message after their first encounter and fight them off the next time they enter the body with less reliance on the innate system. This is the fundamental premise for how vaccines work. In other words, you have your own natural vaccination site inside of your God-given body. So don't be fooled by men. I'm Kef Ray and this is Back to the Basic. Like, share, and subscribe. Facts we stated, you wanna know something, go back to basics Most saw a trap and was called the matrix The world fibbalized, yet it's hard to face it So I spread truth, hope you